Hey, boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In the last episode, we actually fought off with the Wardens Caroline and Justine, and actually won, learning that although they may act harsh on us, they secretly are big softies, apparently becoming worried about us every time we leave the Velvet Room, unsure if they'll ever see us again. Although, an interesting to note, Justine mentioned we'd be the ones to save the souls of humanity, while also mentioning that she feels as though her and Caroline's true selves feel as though they're in a distant place, and that they don't feel like themselves anymore, leaving us with more questions and answers about what really are the Velvet Room attendants, and honestly, from over the course of the entire series as a whole, because honestly, for the most part, all we really know is that they're otherworldly beings. Other than that, we don't know where they come from or what they truly are. So, honestly, yeah, with that being said, lots of more questions than answers. But we definitely do know they're immortal, because apparently Elizabeth's still looking for Margaret, and it's been quite a long time since she's been able to find her from what we do know, because of the fact that I did look up Elizabeth's thing, so, and I did go over it with you guys, but, or no, wait, no, it's Margaret that's looking for Elizabeth, that's it. But yeah, we definitely know that Elizabeth went missing, and then Margaret went looking for her, and then, honestly, from there, that's all we really know, but we haven't heard anything about Margaret or Elizabeth in this one, but we have definitely seen a lot with Caroline and Justine. And then we know Marie isn't a Velvet Room attendant. She was a completely different entity, but she was allowed to be in the Velvet Room because Igor had, um, well, Igor knew that she was going to be a part of our story, so he allowed her to be one of the Velvet Room attendants or something like that. It's basically that. That's They don't go fully in detail why our Igor lets Marie in the pal inside the Velvet Room, but... It's pretty much that. She's basically a Velvet Room attendant, even though she's technically not. But it is very much interesting, though. But with that being said, it's time to continue our daily lives outside the dangers of the Vel of the um <laughs> almost said the Velvet Room <laughs> outside the dangers of the metaverse and the palaces as a whole. So with that being said. First things first is we're actually going to hang out with Chihayam because we should be able to get an item from her. I don't know if it's going to be this conversation, but it's definitely um, a thing that we can do. And also, just in general, just hang out with Chihaya, it's just fun in general. Um, you're alive, yet at the same time you're dead. You have an interesting feat indeed. Um, well then, what would you like to do today? Um, let's do another verification test. Um, the tower card has grown dark. Did you experience some sort of change of I um, some sort of a change at a high altitude? Um, if any place comes to mind, please let me know. Um, now, please take a seat. A change at a high altitude? I have a strong bond with Chihayam. Um, nobody thinks you're alive at this point, so it should be okay as long as you're careful. Um, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with Chihayam? Of course. Um, maybe I should invite her to the Sky Tree. That is definitely high up, so yeah, let's take her to the Sky Tree. Sounds like a good idea. Um, the Sky Tree? Hmm. It sounds like a nice place. Um, let's go. Let's go indeed. And apparently we're done with um Caroline and Justine's uh little secondary social link, apparently. I looked up to see if they we had any more, and apparently us taking them to the cafe was the last one. Although technically there's still one more, but that's story based apparently, based on what I read. So honestly, just in general, it's cool that um We've been able to finish all of them up to this point, so I'm just happy we were able to do that. Um, oh, what a beautiful sight. Um, the skyscrapers are now under our feet. Doesn't that give you a sense of superiority? Um, superiority, such a delicious thrill, or that's so pretty. Yeah, it's pretty out there. Um, come on. Um, at least let me enjoy what it feels like to be a ruler. Um, okay. <laughs> I honestly think it's pretty out here. To be honest, I like the sky tree. <laughs> Being able to see all the lights is pretty cool. Um, when I'm at street level, all the tall buildings make me feel as like Tokyo is a prison. Um, but when I look down from here, it's surprisingly huge. I forget how big it actually is. All the members are still trapped in their tiny worlds. 
That's why I need to help them realize that there are more important things than destiny. Um, and since I realize that, I have to be, um, the one to help them. Well, I guess true. Um, okay. I have to do something. Um, but for now, I'm going to immense, um, immerse myself in the feeling of being a ruler of the city. Um, and I'll do so by your side. Okay. Looks like Caroline and Justine were right, though. You feel as though you're like a roller up here. Which, they were actually right. Chihaya thinks that, so... <laughs> Interesting. I wouldn't think of myself as a roller up here. I just like the lights, to be honest. But apparently she thinks that way. Um, I had a great time today. This is to say thanks for always encouraging me. Um, may the light guide you. Oh, Sky Tree Lamp. And there's her item. That's, apparently she only has one, so we just got her only item. But I'll take it, though. Sky Tree Lamp. Interesting. I don't think I've ever seen it. I already have a strong bond with Chihaya. Oh, that's right. I might have something Chihaya might like. Considering Chihaya, she might like something from the latest trends. Um, honestly... Um, uh, here. Have an idol pen. It says trendy. So I hope you like it. Um, call this. It's for me. Um, hmm. I don't quite understand your intentions here, but... I'll take it, though. Um, thank you very much. No problem. One point, but I'll take it. It feels as like I don't didn't really impress Chihaya much with my gift for her. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> it says trendy. Like, why tell me that she likes trendy gifts if she doesn't like trendy gifts? It is fair. You can at least tell I, it's a fair guess, honestly. Okay, let's return to the city. Okay, back to the city we go. So, back to Café LeBlanc. I never support them. No one wants to use thieves. Jeez, people still don't like us, but at least, eh, seems like something. Cheeto may take a win. What about the election? Show yourself a catchy. Catchy's missing. Still, more like Phantom Grief. Oof. Would it come back? True. Very true. May just be election shit. Eh, no, not is it. Um, what's gonna happen to the election? Oh, the Phantom Thieves thing. It probably doesn't matter. Well, it definitely does. He said the claims were baseless. It must be a smear campaign by the opposition. How low is that? I'm worried about Shido-san. I don't want him to lose. Yeah, and when he comes up and uh, tells you guys that he's been lying to you and killing people, I bet you, you'll change your minds as soon as possible. <laughs> oh yeah, Shido-san's such a good person. I bet he's done nothing wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and then we find out he's been assassinating people all over Japan for multiple years now. Like, oh yeah, he's definitely a good person. Sure, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll definitely believe that one. <laughs> um, of course nothing wrong, um, he's done nothing wrong. He's killed all the people that have uh, even said that he's done anything wrong. <laughs> like, jeez. Of course, um, he's got a perfect record. Nobody's able to stand up against him. And apparently people can't understand that one. Although there's people that do. We got 90% of people that actually believe in us and believe that Shido might be truly evil, which is good. But the rest of the 91%, um, yeah, they don't believe us one bit. But yeah, they definitely need to because Shido is far from a good person. But honestly, with the fact that I see Haru available, let's go and see how Haru's doing. Since, um, uh, you know, just being able to rank her up in general is always good. And honestly, I'd like to get it before, you know, you know, before we even get to around Christmas time if possible. Um, so what are you gonna do now? Um, let's head to the rooftop or let's head back. Um, yeah, let's head to the rooftop. That sounds like a good idea. Um, alright, let's sneak past everyone and go to the emergency exits. Okay, yeah, of course. Cool, we could sneak up to the top of the school even though we're it's supposed to be dead. <laughs> Made our way through the school, though. Freely, but... Although it can be dangerous being here, though. But, hello, Haru. Actually, technically it's not dangerous for us anymore. Since we've already dealt with the police, and the police are kind of scared at the moment because Shido's been knocked down. So, honestly, we could technically walk around without the hoodie, but... Eh, for good measures until, you know, the chapter's officially over, I guess. Nobody should have mental shutdowns anymore, yes? Um, that aside, what brings you to this rooftop, Spookskin? Um, I came to see you. Uh, hey, why thank you. Um, um, sorry, I was spacing out for a moment there. 
Um, would you like to check on the planets with me? I would appreciate the opportunity to speak with you. I feel like I could become closer with Haru, thanks to the Empress Persona Kali. I actually was surprised to find out that Kali was a Empress Persona, to be honest. I actually thought it would be Tower, to be honest. Like, um, Yoshitsune, um, that we used in the last one. But, apparently, she is a Empress Arcana, which is interesting. I did not expect that one. I feel like my bond with Haru will grow strong so stronger soon as well. Well, nobody thinks you're alive at this point, so you should be um, okay as long as you're careful. Um, so what will it be? Are you gonna hang out with um, Haru? Of course. <laughs> no reason not to. Oh, that's good to hear. Thank you. Um, the truth is... The truth is... What? What's going on, Haru? Um, so I bought a mini roaster and a coffee mill the other day. Um, I thought it would be fun to make coffee myself. Um, it's certainly not easy, but it's an immensely satisfying process. Hmm, sounds like you've been having fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, you okay? Mm, sorry about that. I just got a little dizzy for a second there. You look exhausted. Don't overwork yourself. Let's go see the nurse. Well, if you're not looking too good, we should probably see the nurse. Yeah, so, yeah, let's go to the nurse. Um, oh, I'm fine, honestly. Um, let's see. Next up is dirt. For the planners. Oh, nope, she ain't doing good. You okay? What's going on, Haru? <laughs> oh. Well, um, what's up, Haru? Oh, I'm sorry. I think I just need a little rest. Okay. No, you can rest for a little bit. Oh, to be honest, I haven't been getting a lot of sleep lately. Takurakan um, has been really pushing for me to start a new business venture soon. In particular, he's adamant about a chain of low-cost intimate cafes. Some employees don't think it's a good idea, though, so they want me to step in and put a stop to it. But I'm just a high schooler. Well, there's no way I could predict the success or failure of this idea. In the end, I'm just not sure what to do. Didn't you want to start a cafe, though? Sounds like a good idea to me. But, um, hmm, that sounds really tough. You should ask some employees. What do you want to do? Yeah, what do you want to do, Haru? Yeah, you are the boss. So what do you want to do with the company? Um, huh, that's a good question. Um, the idea sounds nice. Um, the smell of a fresh cup of coffee always brings a smile to my face. It, it certainly would be nice to be able to give the, that experience to as many people as possible. But I don't think you can truly gain the same joy from the low-cost team to Kurikan. Takakura-san is it suggesting. Low-cost chain. Well, people like Starbucks, even though it's not, um, well, it's high-cost and not low-cost, but people still like Starbucks, and there's a lot of them, so technically you can do quite a bit with, um, with a company like that, but, hmm, what does Takakura-san think? There has to be a way. You should tell him that. Yeah, you should tell him that. Do what you want to do, Haru. It is your company. Um, huh. Um, you really think you'd listen to a high schooler with no prior work experience? Yeah, of course. You're the owner. I think he would at least, like, acknowledge what you say. Um, hmm, I see. So, you gonna do it? Um, I've been so afraid of him this whole time, but all I need to do is show him how I feel. Um, I'll make him see what I'm really thinking, and what's truly important to me. That's the spirit. You can do it, Haru. Yeah, you can definitely do this. <laughs> we believe in you. Um, I understand. By refusing to trust Takakura-san, I was also shutting myself off from any hope of having trust him trust me. Um, but that's going to be different now. I'll do my best, Spooks-kun. Good. <laughs> Very good. Because he didn't seem like a bad person. He seemed like he just didn't understand that Haru didn't want to do certain things. So, honestly, it's a fair reason that he thought she wanted to do some of these things. So, honestly, yeah, maybe he's just, a uh, misunderstood. You never know. A lot of people are. So, we'll at least, at least give him a shot. The other guy, um, I, I actually forget his name because of how much I don't like the, um, the other guy, the, the fiancé. But, it's, um, honestly, him, he does, I don't think he can get a second chance. But, it's, I'm pretty sure the other dude seems like he's fine, so maybe he'll be able to figure something out. 
I can sense a strong resolve from Haru. Honestly, same. <laughs> Definitely same there. Haru Kumram, Arcana Empress, rank 7. Soil improvements. Decreases the total amount of time it takes to cultivate vegetables. Although we already have that one because of the um, item that you get for New Game Plus. It definitely is nice. The Empress Confidant has increased to rank 7. You will now earn even more XP from Arcana Burst when fusing Personas of the Empress Arcanum. Haru has now learned Soil Improvements for Vegetable Cultivation, which makes it so you can make vegetables in two days, which is pretty good. And now that we have that one that gives us double vegetable, um, double vegetables when we eat plants, that's pretty good, honestly. Even though we already had that that soil improvement one, we didn't have that other one where we got double vegetable yield. So when we got that, it ended up becoming a really good thing. So honestly, the gardening ended up being pretty good. I should do it more. I haven't done as much as I really should. But being able to make um, concentrates and charges on um, items that you can put on anybody is definitely good. And it'll definitely help out characters like Morgana. Um, because of the fact that I don't remember if he can get Concentrate. I think he might get it from his final Persona, but I don't remember, honestly, off the top of my head. I could easily check, because that's not really a major spoiler thing, um, if I were to go check what the abilities do, just to make sure what, um, I want to know about them. But, honestly, I think his one is Charge or Concentrate built into it or something like that. I remember one character has something like that. I don't know which one, though. But it definitely is useful, though. Um, well, I just thought of the perfect way to do it. Hmm? What's that? Um, the magic item that will help me convey my true feelings to Takakura-san. Um, <laughs> it's going to take some time to prepare, though, so it will have to be my secret for now. Um, but I'll tell you next time, okay? Okay, of course. Um, now then, shall we return home? Okay, of course, Harden. Let's return home and go back to Cafe LeBlanc and figure out what to do from here. So, what's up, Harden? Anything else? Um, hello, sorry. Are you home yet? Um, I wanted to thank you again. Um, you helped me realize something important. Um, thank you so much for today. Um, it's thanks to your support that I can keep pushing forward. Um, don't relax yet. I'll always have your back. So what's this magic item? Um, of course, we'll always have your back. You're our friend, after all. Um, just hearing you say that gives me so much strength. Um, you're always such an inspiration to <laughs> Thanks. Um, the rest is up to me. It's going to be a lot of trial and error. Um, but I believe it'll go well. Um, and it'd make me very happy if you could help me through the process. Um, I'll have to make sure everything is ready first. So, um, okay, I'll see you again at the rooftop. Okay, of course. We'll see you at the rooftop whenever you get the chance again to do so. Always like hanging out with our friends, of course, and honestly, with Haru and Shinya being the only confidants left, honestly, just any kind of um, chance of doing so is honestly cool. Bef but before we go running off, I do want to do one thing, just because we did get that sky tree thing. So let's actually put that down real quick and see what it is. So let's see here, sky tree lamp, here we go. So, cool, a sky tree lamp, huh, it's pretty cool though. Oh, a sky tree lamp, huh, oh, that must bring back memories of Asa Kusam. Huh, that's pretty cool though, it's like a little mini sky tree, I like that, huh. That's actually pretty cool for the room, because of the fact that one, it changes colors, and two, um, honestly, it adds a little bit of, like, you know, more like, just cool coolness to the room. Although the chocolate fountain's gone, so I guess you can't have the chocolate fountain and the sky um, tree at the same time. That's a little unfortunate. But, um, I actually want to show off one more thing real quick before we go running off, just because I already put it up. But, um, well, not that stuff. <laughs> I want to look at the, uh, work desk. I want to show you the little sheep man doll, because, um, that is, um, the thing I was talking about in the last one. The Catherine, um, reference. Um, he seems troubled. I wonder what's bothering him. <laughs> but yeah, it's the stray sheeps, um, when, when the people go to sleep in Catherine, they become stray sheeps, and it's all because of a curse. I don't want to go in too much detail, because I might end up playing that for you guys, because I do actually own the game now, because I ended up picking it up with Strikers. 
So yeah, we definitely might do that in the future. I wanna I wanna go through Sty Strikers with you guys first before we pick any other game. But honestly, it's a very high chance that we'd end up going through it because it is an interesting game. So honestly, I don't mind going through some of these games with you as long as we can have some fun with it. So yeah, definitely would be cool, honestly. So it looks like we have Oya and Hifumi. Um, I don't think there's any more with Hifumi, because I tried hanging out with her, um, I think, I forgot what day it was in the game, but, um, it was during when I was testing for Catherine and Justine, or, not Catherine, <laughs> Caroline and Justine, that's the second time I've done that, that was all the way back at the beginning of the game I said Catherine instead of Caroline, but, um, yeah, when it, one, one of the days when I was testing with Caroline and Justine, I tried to see what would happen if I hanged out with Hifumi. And apparently, we are either all done with them, or for some reason, um, I couldn't just do any hangout events with her. But I do think we should have one with Oya for sure. So just in case, we're going to go with Oya just because we've only hanged out with her once outside of social links. So there sh should be at least a couple more, I would think. So just to be sure, I'm going to say Oya just in case. And also, we haven't seen her in a bit, so I think it's fine. Um, yo, what? There you are. Um, I wish I could chug some sake and forget everything. Maybe somewhere in Tepayaki? Um, I, well, I probably should be talking like that to a kid. Um, do you have some Phantom Thief info for me? Um, I have a strong bond with Oyam. Um, nobody thinks you're alive, so you should be um, fine as long as you're careful. Um, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna hang out with Oyam? Of course. Hmm, maybe I should invite her to go get Manyaki with me. Is that the place that we brought? Oh yeah, that's where Ryuji brought us in order to take down the mini Kamashita. Okay, yeah, we can go there. Um, oh, great idea. I'm surprised you know about that place. Pretty well informed, I see. Um, you can't drink alcohol, so you're in charge of making the Manya. Okay, fair enough. Um, I didn't know you had to make it, but okay, cool. Oh um, man, Manya goes great with beer. It sucks that a kid like you can't understand that yet. Um, I'm gonna be honest, um, I've drank- I've had beer before. It's not that good. I'm just gonna be honest, it's not all that. Um, there is some drinks that are good, but honestly, the only things I really care about is, like, stuff with, like, fruit in it. So anything like, um, fruit juices, stuff like that. If it's a fruit juice drink, then maybe I might like it, but... I honestly prefer not to even touch any kind of beer. It's, it tastes nasty. I don't know why, but I don't get why people say it's so good. It's not even worth drinking, honestly. I'm going to be honest. I'd rather just drink a soda. And honestly, I, I love soda, so that's good. But um, honestly, if I were to pick like a drink of choice, it would always be coffee. But yeah. I would say now, never go for beer if uh, you think if people say it's gonna taste good, they're lying to you unless they already have like a good tolerance to liking it or something like that. They've had like multiple of them and they don't care about the taste anymore. And then I think maybe then, but yeah, I don't understand it myself to be honest because I've had it a couple times and I've never liked it. But eh, apparently, oh yeah, does <laughs> don't understand it though, but. Um, cool. I'm happy you like it, Oyam. Um, I used to come here with Keio a lot. That's why I wanted to eat here recently. Um, the selling point of this place is how bizarre the menu is. Okay, what do you want to try next? Um, mixed ingredient manyam. That sounds normal. Cake manya. Huh? Cake? Cake in a, like, you know, regular food dish? Instead of, like, a dessert? That's interesting. And then mackerel manyam. That sounds pretty good. Um, I'll take that. Sounds like kind of like sushi in a way. Um, that's actually the only one I'm scared of trying. Really? Why is that? Um, you need a refill on your soda. Um, and let's order some more manya. Okay, sounds good to me. <laughs> I'd like to try it myself. I've had a lot of sushi and I've had a lot of like, so or not a lot, but I've had a decent amount of different like Japanese and Chinese dishes. So honestly, I would like to try Manya. It sounds pretty good from what I've heard. But, um, hmm. Honestly, looks like we liked it. We ate a couple bowls. So it must have been pretty good. Um, wow. Even, we even tried the mackerel Manya. That was a little too strange for me. Um, oh, 
I almost forgot to ask. Do you have any new info for me? Um, looks like a no. Um, hmm. I think we should order one more manya. Okay. Um, I already have Storm Bond with Oyam. Oh yeah, that's right. I might have something Oya might like. Considering Oya, I feel like she'd be delighted to receive something that she can use at work. Well... Hmm. Well, uh, this one says a desk worker who needs a break. You need a break. So, uh, here you go, Oya. <laughs> I know she likes her work, but I'm just gonna say that now. That's all she cares about, so we might as well tell her she needs a little bit of a break. Um, you wanted to give this to me. Hmm. You've got some weird taste. Um, oh well. I'll still take it, thanks. Oh, she took it. She doesn't eat it. So apparently, even though she only got one point for it, but at least she take she took it, so apparently she'll use it. Okay, cool. Well, at least she acknowledged what I said. It feels like I didn't really impress Oya much with my gift. Well, obviously. But, um, <laughs> can't really do anything about that one. I don't have enough gifts to give people anymore at this point. Um, the weird ones go great. With a nice hard drink. Well, um, I guess we should get going. Yeah, probably should. <laughs> I wouldn't know anything about beers, to be honest, and I wouldn't be able to really understand the, um, intricacies and the, you know, the love people have for it, so I can't really give my in-depth opinion on it, because I don't like it, to be honest. So, I'm glad you like it, Oyam. Um, only the only thing left to do is wait for the outcome. True to that. True to that indeed, Morgana. With that being said, let's head out and see who we can hang out with. Paru is available. Let's see if Shinya, because... Okay, Shinya is available. Okay, we're gonna do Shinya. And the reason is, is because I'd like to get Shinya done, um, as soon as possible, just in general. It's just, I would like to get him, uh, closer because of the fact that we still haven't gotten his request yet. Which was weird, because he said he would get, get it done, but we haven't got him to do it. So... Yeah, we definitely need to progress him soon, just in case, because I'd like to get that request done so we can continue with the, um... Because if once we get this done, we won't have any more, um, mementos request to do, um, via story. So I'd like to get that over and done with so we can continue with the normal stuff, but, so we don't have to just jump into mementos every now and then to do these, like, request missions. So if we can get it early, that'd be nice. Um, a curious sign. Um, hey, what should I do? Um, nah, never mind. Let's train. I feel like I could become closer with Shinya thanks to the tower persona Yoshitsune. I feel like my bond with Shinya will grow stronger soon as well. Um, nobody thinks you're alive, so you should be careful. Um, be careful, but you'll sh oh, always be okay. I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna give Shinya the calling card? Oh, that's why. We have to give him the calling card. Forgot about that. Huh? Um, what do you mean? Well, um, here, have the calling card. It's all yours, bud. <laughs> Go tell your mom that, um, the Phantom Thieves are coming for her, I guess. Um, another, another calling card? Yep. Um, Hane Oda. You told us to get her name. Um, so, here, here you go. The Phantom Thieves are here to help. Um, uh, my mom. Yep. Um, you wanna go and give it to her? Um, the Phantom Thieves are targeting my mom. Yep. So she is bad after all. Um, she's out of control. No, she's not. Is that what you think? Well, let's not make him sad. Let's say no, she's not. But it's to help him. Um, thanks. Um, but my mom just isn't herself. She used to be so nice. Yeah, that's what you told us. Um, mom. Um, do you think they'll actually be able to change our hearts? It'll all work out. I can't guarantee it. Believe in them. Yeah, believe in them, bud. <laughs> you are a fan after all, so we'll definitely give you some hope here, bud. Um, yeah. Yeah, you're right. They are the Phantom Thieves, after all. True to that one. Um, so... So what? Um, someone has to give this to my mom, right? Um, okay. I'll do it. Is it too much for you? Um, way to step up. Yeah, way to step up, Shinya. You got this, bud. Um, I... Is it kind of my fault that my mom got this way? Uh, no. Not at all. Um, she had to deal with a lot raising me on her own. She had to get stronger because I was so weak. Um, but that's not an excuse to hurt the people around her. True. Very true, bud. It seems like you learned a very valuable lesson. 
<laughs> Good job, bud. That's a very, very valuable lesson for a kid his age. Oh, she fights with everyone, about everything, and ends up getting hurt. At this rate, my mom's gonna break. Um, I want my mom to realize that she doesn't have to be strong for me anymore. Um, but she won't listen to me. Um, when I tell her that, um, that's why I want to help the Phantom Thieves. I want to stop my mom. Let's save her. That's admirable. Well, let's save her, bud. <laughs> we got this. Um, you care, son? Um, okay. I'll give you the calling card. <laughs> um, she's my mom after all. I really want to sit help her. <laughs> the next time you see the Phantom Thieves, please tell them I said thank you. Um, and thanks for talking to them about the Sekira san I'm going to teach him my best, strongest move. Really? I feel like my bond with Shinya is growing even deeper. And apparently we're going to get his strongest move, apparently. So what you got for us, bud? Skilled Gamer Tower Rank 8. Electric Slug increases the damage inflicted by Bullet Hail. Sounds pretty cool. Your Tower Confidant has increased to rank 8. You will now earn even more XP from Arcana Burst when fusing Personas of the Tower Arcana. Shinya taught you how to use Electric Slug. Which sounds pretty cool. We'll definitely take it. Um, oh, I guess it's too late. Um, hey, do me a favor. Don't tell anyone you saw me crying earlier, okay? It's all good, bud. Interacting with Shinya has made my heart grow. I feel like my kindness has increased as well. Makes sense. Definitely, definitely makes sense. But yeah, we'll help you out, bud. But we'll definitely take some free kindness. Um, oh, and say hi to the Phantom Thieves for me. Um, later. <laughs> we'll see you later, buddy. But back to Cafe LeBlanc, I guess. But honestly, yeah, we'll definitely help him out. As long as um we get the request. We haven't got the request yet, so I'm not sure when. But at least we're pushing it forward, at least. <laughs> it's finally all over. Um, all that's left now is to wait and see the results. Um, everyone will surely understand when they see Shido after he's had a change of hearts. Um, he better apologize on national TV. Hmm, to be honest, this excitement makes me somewhat anxious. Um, that's completely understandable. Nobody else understands his true nature yet, after all. Um, people get it right? Um, I'm sure they will. Let's believe. Yeah, let's believe in the people. Um, we have done even more than we could have hoped for, um, for at this point. Um, all we can do now is wait. True. All we can really do now is wait. Can't really force him to do anything now. We just gotta wait for his mind to kind of fully understand what he's been doing. Let's make sure that's... yeah, it's just them. Okay. Well, since we did OER already, let's go and see how Chihai is doing because I think... Have we... I think she should still have some more, right? So, yeah, let's do Chihai and see if she still has any more. If not, um, that's unfortunate, but, um, let's see. Um, you're alive and yet at, same, at the same time you're dead. You have an interesting fate indeed. Um, well then, what would you like to do today? Um, another verification test, please. Um, this place reeks of exhaust fumes and food from the restaurants. I wish I could take a walk to get away from the noise and stare at the sky or gaze at the ocean. Um, just kidding, okay? It's time for the verification test. Please take a seat. I have a strong bond with OEM. Um, nobody thinks you're alive, so you should be okay as long as you're careful. Um, what are you gonna do? You wanna hang out with Chihayam? Of course. Hmm, maybe I should invite her to Seaside Park. That sounds like an idea. Let's take her there then, so we do have more. Cool. Um, I would love to go there. Um, please lead the way. Okay, yeah, of course, we can definitely lead the way. Seaside Park. We've only been here a couple times, so... Honestly, it's cool to see this place again. Um, this is such a great place. Um, did you know that you can walk across the bridge over here, Derek? Of course, or really. Yeah, that's actually kind of surprising. Because of the fact that it doesn't look like it really has a walkway on it, but apparently you can. Huh, really? That's interesting. Um, oh, does it surprise you? It looks like, to me, um, it looks to be about a 10 minute walk from here. I think it leads to the entrance of Promenade. Hmm, really? Um, but I don't know because I've never actually gone. Um, do you want to go there with me? Um, no, we have to go. My reading said that we absolutely must go there today. Hmm, okay. Um, this way, this way. Come on, let's go. 
Okay. I already have a strong bond with Chihayam. Oh, that's right. I have something Chihayam might like. Considering what she, um, that, considering Chihayam, I feel like she would like something from the latest trend. Yeah, right. We've tried giving her, th like, three things from trends, and she hated them every single time. Let's be honest here. So, uh, here, you get a Castella instead. I hope you like it. <laughs> no more, uh, other items, because you don't like them. Um, huh, this is for me. Um, hmm, I don't quite understand your intentions here, but... I'll take it, though. Thank you very much. Oh, you ate sweets, too? Jeez, what do you like? It feels like I didn't really impress Jiaya much with my gift, apparently so. Surprised. Honestly, I'd be happy to get some sweets. Oh, um, Tokyo Bay is so peaceful. Seems like it would be. I wouldn't doubt that one, to be honest. It looked pretty cool. But off to 11.30. We're getting closer and closer to December now. The This might be the first time I actually care about an election. Isn't Cheeto cool? No, he ain't. Um, a charismatic politician can even um, can make even a path um, apathetic young people excited. Hmm. Not only does Mr. Shido have good judgment and decisiveness, he has a, um, important qualities as a leader. Um, like communication skills. Don't you think his words are easy to understand? Don't his speeches resonate with you? Um, no, not at all. Um, everyone's getting tricked by his facade. They don't know it's all lies. Well, we've done all we can. It's aggravating, but all we can do is wait. Yeah, after everything, I'm surprised people even, you know, support him. But we only have so many supporters, so I guess it's fair. But it's hard to believe that nobody believes that he could be, like, a bad person. A lot of people normally think that politicians aren't good people, so I'm surprised they're believing in this politician as much as they are. But... Honestly, um, hmm. On, Ryuji, Futaba, Takumi. All are really good. We have all of On's, um, hangout events. We haven't got one of Ryuji's, I believe. Yeah, we got the ramen bowl, but we don't have the other one. Um, we have Futaba, one of Futaba's, I believe. Unless, actually, no. Yeah, we have one of Futaba's, the I Heart Tokyo shirt. And then, um, honestly, I think, yeah, we're missing one for Kazumi, aren't we? So, yeah, let's go to Promenade, actually. I think it would be a smart idea. I believe I remember where it, where it is. I, if this is going completely off of memory, though. Um, oh, Senpai, you seem kind of tired. Are you okay? Um, it's important to give it your best, but please don't push yourself too hard. Um, would you like to go hang out someplace today? It's good to take breaks now and then, so if you don't mind. I have a solid bond with Kazumi. Um, it's good to take a break every so often. Want to hang out with Yoshizawa? Oh, apparently we're safe here. Really? That's interesting. He didn't say anything about, um, having to be careful. That's interesting. Um, what should we do today? Is there something you'd like to do? Um, let's hang out. Um, that would be great. I think it'd help us both de-stress a little. <laughs> yeah, more than likely. But the place I'm thinking that we should go to... In order to get this item, I believe it's Shinagawam. And the reason is, is is because of the name. It's called a Sea Slug. Um, or I think it was Sea Slug. Yeah, I think it's Sea Slug. So the only places I can think of is either the Seaside Park or Shinagawa because of both of them being uh, based around the ocean. Since this is an oceanic aquarium, and this is a, you know, a theme park next to, next to the water. So I think this should be right. So I'm going to go with this. Um, Shinagawa, huh? Um, that's where the aquarium is. Wanna go? Yeah, of course. I love the aquarium. Um, I love aquariums. I hope there's penguins. Oh, hey, perfect. I love penguins, too. That's actually perfect. Um, let's go. <laughs> let's go, indeed. But yeah, that's pretty cool. That's my favorite animal, so that's actually pretty cool to hear her say that. Huh. That's actually perfect, because it fits in line with the whole character um, thing that I said was we were going to go for Kazumi for the whole romance option. But... Huh, that's actually pretty cool, since um, the fact that both of us had things that um, we actually like. That's actually kind of cool. Um, wow, it's been ages since I visited an aquarium. It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, I could stare at this tank forever. Aren't the movements of living creatures just fascinating? Um, yeah, of course. Unless they're, you know, scary monster uh, fish or scary, 
you know, crustaceans, or not crustaceans, but I think crustaceans more like spiders and stuff like that, like insects and stuff like that, but um, honestly, for the most part, the only thing with like creepy movements is most insects. So honestly, crustaceans have some pretty natural movements um, for the most part, except for a couple of them, but honestly, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, are they, or I'm more into their taste? <laughs> that's, that's bad. That's bad in a funny way, but, um, I'm gonna go yes. Yeah, I like that. Um, right? Their will to survive shines through in their every move. Um, if only I could perform like this. Um, speaking of performances, um, I really want to see the dolphin show. Um, hmm, I might get some inspiration from watching an elegant dolphin moving in perfect sync with its trainer. Um, oh, but there's a sea lion show too. Hmm. Um, I care, Senpai. Um, which would you rather see? The dolphin show or the sea lion show? Um, dolphins or sea lions or both? Um, let's see both. Why can't, why do we have to watch one? Um, you're a genius. Um, why limit ourselves to just one? Um, alright. Let's check out the dolphins and see the sea lions. Okay, of course. That sounds like fun. Um, we still have some time before the show starts. Um, let's look around the exhibits a bit more. Um, oh, actually, before that, I have a present for you, Kira Senpai. Um, I sold this at the gift shop earlier, and it was so cute. Um, I couldn't resist. Please take it. Oh, and there it is, the sea slug doll, so I was right. I was trying to remember where it was, and I knew it was based on ocean. And, well, the name also helps kind of give it away, too. But, well, we have it, cool. Sea slug doll, we'll definitely take it. <laughs> Thanks. Um, how they're so graceful. <laughs> And we didn't have to give her an item. Well, that works. <laughs> Although I would have gave her something, but yeah, it's fine. At least we're back. Although it's kind of sad that we don't get any more calls since, you know, all the social links are done at the moment. Um, I gave my, um, the calling card to my mom. It was a little scary. Um, could you let the families know? A mother's aggression finally unlocked. We finally have it. The final social link for our teammates. We'll definitely take it. Before we go anywhere, I actually want to go put up the sea slug, just because we can. So, let's go and toss it up here. So, let's decorate, and then put the sea slug on top. Oh, actually on top? Cool, that works. I was just saying that just because I couldn't guess of any other spots, but cool. I'll definitely take there. Um, sea creatures are so mystical. I heard there are many creatures at the bottom of the sea that people have never seen. That's very much true. We have yet to explore most of the ocean, so that is very much true, bud. Um, did you still want to keep decorating? Nope, that's it. <laughs> I like the room, honestly. It's coming along pretty well. I actually really like what we got. But, yeah, I really like how much uh, we've been able to do. Because, I'll be honest, during my first playthrough, I was barely able to um, get on the confidants and all the... Um, Stars like every single thing when it comes to like the original Persona 5 characters because I had someone else do the Kazumi and Maruki stuff, and then um, I think I, I well, I'm not sure if I did the Akechi, Akechi stuff, I think I did the Akechi stuff, but I definitely remember having someone else do the Kazumi and Maruki stuff. But honestly, I did not have anywhere near as many items as I have now in the room. So this is really cool. I like having um, the ability to kind of meet more of the characters a little bit more than I had the chance to in, well, my first playthrough of Royal and first playthrough of um, the original Persona 5. So honestly, this is pretty cool. I definitely like this. So I'm really liking how this is coming along. That's very much for sure. Okay, into 12.1. So, with the fact that there wasn't really anything during the night, I ended up just skipping over that. So, with that being said, we're officially now in December. So, we're getting closer and closer to the end of the year. Meaning, we're almost to the end of the game, really. Because of the fact that, well, we're only here for a year. So, we got here in March. So, yeah, there's only four more months until Joker officially leaves. For what would be his year of allotment. So, honestly, that's... Although it's sad, definitely has been pretty fulfilling to play through this again. Just in general, just for you guys in general, this has been a really fun series. And 
I will always love these Persona games. I have never had a bad, like, experience with these. And although I said I didn't really like Tartarus, I really did like the story of Persona 3. So the story ended up making up the entirety of um, my enjoyment of the game. So honestly, the Tartarus didn't really matter at that point. So yeah, I had a lot of fun with that game. And Persona 4, I loved the dungeon crawling in that game. And I also loved the just story in that game as well. So yeah, that did good. And then obviously I love Persona 5. So honestly, yeah, all the games have been pretty cool. Um, I would like to know more about Persona 2 and 1, but those will come in due time. I'm gonna hold off a little bit longer. If I don't see a um, remake for them by the end of the 25th anniversary for Persona, then I'll probably just play the originals for you guys at some point. Because I do want to play through both Persona 2s and 1, I probably will play Persona 2 first, because of the fact that we've been playing them the way we have been. We've been playing in random random order, so it doesn't really matter. And the story, um, the timelines I don't think really matter that much because they don't really tie much into the other games. There's like small hints and like Easter eggs for other games, but for the most part, it, you could pretty much play any of them without having, having to have knowledge about the other ones. Well, except for Igor. Igor, you kind of need the knowledge about a little bit to kind of understand what he is. But other than that, yeah, it's been a pretty fun adventure. Definitely really happy we played through Persona 4 when uh, we did, because that was my very first time playing the games. Um, I always knew about the games, and I always wanted to play them, but that was my very first time actually getting to play them. So with that being said, yeah, it's been a very fun series to play through, and I would love to continue playing these games. Um, well, as long as we have games to play. But, with that being said, let's finish off the day and we'll end off today's episode. The Phantom Thief is still alive. Is this for real? Well, it very much is. They have to be lying. There's no proof. His approval rating is still the same. I mean, I can't imagine anyone but Shido in office. Shido's gonna win. I hope he becomes Prime Minister soon. And apparently, um, we actually haven't actually read what Mishima put as his new thing. So it's, do you support the Phantom Thieves? So yes or no? Well, definitely a yes. <laughs> That's for sure. But honestly, it's just cool to see that Mishima still, ca still cares about us ever since the beginning. <laughs> we did save him though, so it does make a lot of sense. Hmm, it's already December. This sure has been a rough, one rough year. Um, that was a strange broadcast, Hijack. I had thought, um, the Phantom Thieves were done for. Masayoshi Shudo will save us. This country will prosper under his leadership and administration. Um, yes. I can't help but get my hopes up. Next year is going to be, uh, going to lo be looking good. Hmm, even after all we've exposed, they're still so blind. It seems we must have Shido confess himself. True. Very true. Looks like nobody will believe it unless they hear it from the actual <laughs> actual mouth of the monster himself. But with that being said, I just wanted to get to the day of uh, December 1st. So with that being said, thank you all for watching today's episode. Have a wonderful rest of your day. In the next episode, we will be going into Mementos to finish off the um, request for Shinyam. And then we'll be continuing from there and continuing our daily lives outside the dangers of the metaverse and Mementos. So, with that being said, thank y'all for watching, have a wonderful rest of your day, keep being spooky, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out. Hey boys and girls, thank y'all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank y'all for watching today's episode, and keep being spooky. Peace out guys.